Evening. How are you all? You alright? Um, it's been a while since I've been here in the evenings to just have a, a natter. Um, work's been mad and stuff like that. Hopefully it's calming down now. Um, what's been happening? What's been happening? I know there's obviously been hell of news about um, Joe. Um, I've, I've probably not um, kind of like been around or at least had a chat with you guys for it for a couple of days and I'm sure you've all heard and you've all um, had your say on it, etc. But um, that attorney, Damien Williams, right? Um, it's almost like Elliot Ness, right? It's like Elliot Ness, baby. Um, the, and it's, I think all the jokes also in terms of it being kind of like ironic that um, 300 million on a defence. We're gonna, we're gonna spend our, our, um, our owner well actually no we have to we have to classify him as not our owner but i mean what's all that about um it was i mean it i don't know it, it kind of wasn't quietly done but it really wasn't made a big thing about was it um in terms of joe handing over his um kind of ownership or chairs whatever you want to call it over to um uh this estate now, it was literally not a big song and dance or a who are at the time to say Joe Lewis has is no longer our chairman, he's no longer on the board, he's no longer this, he's no longer that. Um, it was kind of almost done with a little bit of released press or sneaked released press. Um, and then realistically, I think it was up to us to work out the dots right um but i mean kind of like come now you can see um the reasons for it now i'm not saying that tottenham hotspur need to come out and kind of like tell us everything but in times like this it just shows you in a way that um that transparency is not really there i mean Personally, I would say, I mean, I don't know if it's ever been there, kind of like with the club. They literally don't come out and talk to us about anything. They don't tell us what's going on from um, where we've been from manager to manager to, I mean, yes, of course, we get the chairman's notes um, at the end of the year, which always turn out to be untrue, unreliable, unfulfilled, um, a lot of those uns. I'm like included in there, but um, I mean, Joe, it's, it's what annoys me most is the fact that there were all these people around making money, um, literally millions, and in fact, some people he was even lending people money to make money out of these deals, and we are scrimping and scraping in terms of being able to buy players. The amount of money these people were all making and we couldn't afford um, defenders, another attacker, we couldn't pay that extra five million for whoever it was, we missed out on Bruno Fernandes, we missed out on Jack Grealish. For us scraping, trying to scrape five million, ten million, get, get those cut off the deal, um, arguing the toss about um, a few million here and there, yet these buggers are sitting there. Um, telling all their friends, making a mint. Don't know, ma'am, don't know. Well, apparently I heard today also there's gonna be roughly around 250, 300 million spent on his defense, which is like quite ironic. Um, or at least I think it was 250 mil or something like that, which was put up as a bond for bail um, so that he can kind of like not sit in a cell. But, um, you know, after kind of pleading guilty to, I think it was what, it was like 19 counts or something like that. So, um, and I've heard kind of the other thing, I just, maybe I'm wrong and kind of like you guys kind of like, let us know in the comments or whatever. But um, obviously there, there's been a lot of talk of people saying, well, I don't know if it affects Tottenham, it's not gonna affect Tottenham. Apparently the Premier League have come out and said, um, it's, he no longer owns Tottenham and it's kind of going to be out their hands and I, there's no association um, like with Spurs. 
but it's not like this has happened in the last few months or even in the last year right these guys Elliot Ness he would have been probing Levy um sorry smoking Joe he would have, he would have been probing him for a long time um finding out investigations getting kind of data things like that now that would have happened while he was um our chairman before he kind of handed over his shares or his kind of like ownership um so kind of in my view i think obviously the outcome of the investigation will tell um and can you imagine if daniel levy finds out joe lewis has got these friends that he's told all this inside information to to make a meet and he hadn't told daniel levy about it <laughs> I just, I'm not gonna, you know, make one and one makes kind of like whatever number you want, really. But um, it would surprise me if um, Daniel didn't know about it. It surprised me if Daniel didn't have um, some investments in there. Um, obviously, it's all alleged. Um, I'm not making any accusations in any way whatsoever, or kind of like speaking any truths, but literally it's probably a case of um a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend but hey you know um i'm not a legal person i'm not blaming anyone i'm not holding anyone accountable um i'm just making assumptions based on what's out there at the moment and my own personal view is um if like our chairman was quite close with our owner um I would be surprised that there's probably not an investigation that continues um, throughout all of Joe Lewis's friends um, and therefore um, impacts our club. Um, but hey, right, job done. Job done on that one. Uh, we beat the Sailors. We won a cup. We won a cup. Damn. Um. I mean, I don't know, kind of like you guys impressed um, that we beat Sailors or is it just meh kind of thing? Um, I guess it's kind of six and a half, isn't it? At the end of the day, um, they're a team that was in front of us. Um, it's a bit of game time, a bit of real action. We obviously went one nil down. Um, I think everyone, like we were chatting on the show on Monday and in terms of while and just got time with these players. Um, I think everyone agreed um, that there's nothing like having a game, having a match. Obviously, you want eat, you want a match to be able to test you with a maybe a higher caliber team um, to actually push you to kind of like make you run and sweat and formations and attack, attacking and defending and things like that. But um, I guess they got a run out um, in terms of a team um formations maybe trying to work out some of the drills etc um there you go um obviously harry bagda pen uh richie and uh, geo richie's hat trick um is he back is he back is he... um i guess it's good for his ego right it's it, you know it's probably taken taken i'm sure it cheered him up a little bit to get his to get his name um to get to get the, to get to take the match ball home, to get to do his pigeon dance. Um, so I'm pleased for him. Um, let's let's see what he does in the real world. Um, kind of getting a hat trick against Sailors is probably not the best. And to be honest, I didn't see the whole game. I tried to watch it, but um, kind of like meetings and stuff like that. But um, I kind of saw a couple of the highlights, and I still saw him offside a few times, and there were a couple of misses and. But um, it's the sailors. It's the sailors. Um, I mean, I don't know what. Um, I mean, I don't. <clears throat> I don't really want to go into Kane. I, 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 I may leave that towards the end, to be honest with you. Um, centre backs. Where are the freaking centre backs? I don't know. It's twenty seventh of July, man. Twenty seventh of July. 
no centre backs. There's talk about the VDV um, deal falling apart because we won't pay um, pay the fee, the forty million euros or whatever it is. Um, yeah, people are quite happy to sit and take freebies and make a mint and stop it, JP. Stop it. Stop it. Um, yeah, so apparently the VDV deal is down, down, whether it's a case of um, the German team kind of almost saying we're trying to play hardball. It's only 40 million. Come on, guys, pay it. Um, apparently they've said that um, they don't have to sell him, which is, you know, <coughs> excuse me, I guess they're, they're prerogative. Um, I guess we'll be probably trying to tap him up to say to get him to push for the deal um, to make it uncomfortable for his team so they have to sell but um, he's daft tactics you know what if, if, if he's your choice go and pay the money for him show him show him that you have faith in him you're prepared as a club to invest that amount of money in him and therefore when he does come he knows he's wanted he knows he's loved and he knows He's at a team that believes in him, as opposed to pissing about over 4 million, 5 million euros, whatever it is. Um, the other thing is Sanchez. So um, apparently that's not going to go through um, because it's a Russian club and some of the sanctions and the fact that it's probably not good PR, I guess. Um, I know the Premier League have kind of probably mentioned something about selling players over to Russia and what's going on with Ukraine and everything so um, and plus I kind of hear Sanchez says no um, if it's his personal choice um, if based on what's going on in that part of the world then I guess we have to respect it but I hope we bloody find a club for him soon um, Dyer obviously no news um, actually one thing no I'll, I'll, I'll speak to you about it in a second um, one thing, the other thing was a tossing. Um, so I, I kind of hear that he's um, apparently he's unsure about the move to Spurs and he'd rather go to Monaco. There's another cheapy gone. Um, and I mean, I don't know if we're waiting for the Kane money or not, really. Um, but let us know about tossing. And like, I really want to also know from you guys about. Um, what do we think about not getting a centre back yet? Or is it just, I think it's been done to death, but if you have any comments, um, by all means, chuck them down. Um, are we waiting for the cane money? Are we? I mean, in that case, just bloody sell him, right? Get him out the door as quickly as possible. Um, it seems to be either we're waiting for cane money or we're waiting to get players out. But again, it's what, the 27th of July now, and it's painful that we've only got rid of Harry Winks. There's still a hell of a lot of players there that we need to drop. And maybe the whole target was that when Ange comes back, let him take them away on his um, happy tour, um, get together with them, kind of understand them a bit, see, their, see the whites in their eyes. Um, let him make his judgment from from that point onwards whether he feels um, he's right, he's right, he's wrong, he's wrong. Fair enough. But uh, as soon as they come back, literally they should be walking out the door. Um, we shouldn't be left at this this time of the year or this time of like the window. We've only getting rid of Harry Winks. Um, that whole churning over of players needs to happen and centre backs they need to start man they need to start i heard iggy saying um in the morning video and also yesterday's evening video um do you know what we need to be able to get them in get them understanding and get them understanding the team bonding a little bit rather than getting them straight in while the season starts or while the season started and then kind of almost chucking them in right because it helps, t I mean, in your work, um, whatever you guys do, um, getting together with colleagues and understanding them and stuff like that like in work kind of helps, right? It helps the atmosphere, helps that camaraderie. Um, 
it helps you understand the team, the dynamics in the team, things like that. So it's important to get them in as early as possible. And for the sake of a couple of million quid, it's just like daft that we've not actually gone out and kind of like got a couple of centre backs by now. But we are where we are. We are where we are. But we do have, we do have kit on. No, not kitten, a kit on. So they're our official formal wear partner. Formal wear, you know. Uh, I, don't, uh, I mean, I don't know how us, how many people are seeing formal wear off to watch a game of football. Maybe that will be, like I heard the other day, um, I can't remember who it was, I think it was Henry actually, saying something about um, last season they weren't letting some fans in with tracksuit bombs. Taking a piss, right? Tracksuit bombs. What is all that about? Maybe formal wear. That's part of part of the gear that you need to get in. That's the level of fan. That's the level of um, people Daniel wants at the ground. Not people in tracksuit bottoms and trainers. None of that, mate. Um, next, there'll be a formal speech test or something like that. You have to um, pronounce your P's and your Q's um, in your formal wear before you can get in. Just saying, just saying. Um, right, I'm going to shoot soon, but one thing I did want to ask you guys is, I've kind of like really been thinking about this the last day or so, is um, the captaincy. Who do you guys feel would be or is in line and can there be a really good captain for us next year? Hugo's kind of out the door. Well, actually, again, there's another one that's not gone. We left him at home, didn't take him on tour. We left him at home to find a club and he's still there. <sighs> right, so Hugo's not going to be captain. Um, Harry's, he's off. Um, I'm I'm kind of resigned to kind of like him being gone. Um, Hoybier, I believe, is on the brink of possibly leaving as well. Which literally leaves us, I mean, obviously Sonny's there. Sonny's, you know, he's captain for career as well. Um, he's probably a good shout, but is Sonny the type of person to get under players, kind of give them an oomph, give them a shout and give them a rollicking when they need to shout players in who are out of um, position, like scream and screw at them for a bad pass and stuff like that? That's the type of captain we want, right? Like, we want someone like that. Currently, as it stands, I I go with Dyer, Davis, Nope. Um, I personally would like both of them out of the club. Um, and if they do stay at the club and they are bit squad players, not really captaincy, right? Um, Yudogi, Region, Perisic, no, no, and no. Cesc... <laughs> No. Um, Emerson, candidate, you tell me. Um, Porro, nope, too early. Kuti, it could calm him down. A little bit of responsibility, a bit of shouting at the players and stuff. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know about that one. Um, Davidson, no. Rodon, no. Um, Hoybier, I believe, is going to be off. Um, Papasa, a bit too young, too new. Madison, experience, yes, but um, not really a captain, um, the way I see it, but who knows. Um, Sun, if Kane goes, obviously there's like Solomon's new as well. Um, is there anyone I've missed? Um, I mean, Bentacle could be a good choice. Um, I think he would relish it. I'm just wary or concerned about his injury and how long it takes him to come back and, and the game time he needs. We need a captain, kind of almost start the season. Well, a new captain, start the season, armband on, leading the team, pushing the team. Um, maybe in the future, Bentacle, um, who knows. Kulu, no. So I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. So I don't know if you guys want to 
kind of like leave us your comments to help us out and find out um, who you guys would pick as captain or is that the type of centre back we should go and be looking for if this tap sober if he's that type of person then again pay the money get him in if we need that leader in the centre of our defence to be able to bark orders control people tell them what to do where, where to go but he's young as well so I'm struggling for captains um, like next year but by all means please let me know um, kind of like put your um, your um, thoughts in the comments and let me know who you guys think um, and I, you can put Davis and Dyer but do you know what um, I don't really want them I think they'll be bit part players I hope they'll be bit part players if we do get some centre backs and therefore, I personally, I don't see them as captain material. Obviously, the captain's um, got to be consistently playing week in, week out, or at least bar injuries, right? Um, so let us know what you think. Let us know about captaincies, etc. Um, guys, listen, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Um, Iggy's on every morning. Um, I think mari has got a show on tonight. Um, by all means join that um, if you've not subscribed to our channel please do it's very much appreciated um, if you have already big up um, thanks for coming back thanks for listening um, welcome to anyone new who's watching it for the first time um, do hit that like do hit subscribe and I'll be back with you tomorrow evening um, Come on, you Spurs, get a centre-back. Come on, Tottenham.